वेलकम माय डियर फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द शिप स्टेबिलिटी एट ऑपरेशनल लेवल बेसिकली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज द शिप स्टेबिलिटी शिप स्टेबिलिटी इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ द शिप टू कीप द वेसल्स अपराइट एंड इवन गिल एट ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द टाइम सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द शिप स्टेबिलिटी ऑपरेशनल लेवल कैलकुलेशन दैट इज बेसिक कैलकुलेशन यू नीड टू थिंग्स लेट मी शो यू द फर्स्ट थिंग यू नीड इज this book ship stability at the operational level that is nutshell series book 4 captain subramanyam and the another thing you need is this scientific calculator you need this scientific calculator for the sake of your calculations to make it easy you can use any type of basic calculator also but it is very good so you need scientific calculator so Also check my description box for the notes, formula sheet, and many more things. So without wasting time, let's get started. So firstly, we are going to start the chapter one, that is exercise one, density and relative density. So basically, for density, you need to use this one formula. Let me write this. Density. Is equals to mass upon volume. And if I'll write the volume like this, this thing makes the our calculations very easy because we know length, breadth, and height. So let's start. Question one is a rectangular tank measures 16 meter by 15 meter into 6 meter. How many tons of oil of relative density 0.78 can it hold? So basically, we have to find the mass. We have volume and density also. So let me show you how we we do this. so let me write the given data we know length that is 16 meters we know breadth that is 15 meters and we know height also that is 6 meters these are the dimensions by this we will find the volume so we got one factor from the formula density is equals to mass upon volume okay now the second is relative density is equals to 0.78 this is density we got density volume basically we have to find the mass so we will multiply the volume by density so mass is equals to density into volume we know density is 0.78 and we know volume is 16 Into fifteen into six. Okay, and you let me take the calculator. We need it. When you find the volume, it will come about sixteen into fifteen into six. This is coming about something one thousand four hundred and forty meter cube. Volume one thousand forty meter cube. So. when you multiply the volume with the density we will get mass and our mass is 1123.2 ton ton is the unit of mass meter cube is the unit of volume and for our sake of calculation we don't write any unit for the density okay so our answer is 1123.2 ton so we have done our first question let's go to do the second one guys again we need this formula basically the formula is density is equals to mass upon volume so second question is A cylindrical tank of diameter 8 meter is 10 meter high. 
poured 100 ton of oil of relative density 0.9 is poured into it. Find the allege assuming pi to be 3.1416. So before doing this question, let me tell you what is allege. Consider this is a ship's tank. And these are double bottom tanks. So you have you have filled your liquid till 98%. And we keep 2% empty for the expansion of liquid. So what is allege and what is sounding? Basically, the height of the liquid, this is called tank top. This is double button tank. And this is called tank top. Tank top. So the height of the liquid, this is liquid. So the height of the liquid from the tank top to the level of liquid, height of liquid from the tank top to the level of liquid is called sounding. And the remaining portion, this is called allege. This is called, what is this called? This is called allege. So you come to know what is allege and what is sounding. So basically what we have to find, we have to find the allege. Let me show you how we will find this. So a cylindrical tank of diameter, let me draw a tank. This is our tank. These are just rough diagrams. Cylindrical tank of 8 meter diameter. This is 8 meter. So this is 4 meter. And 10 meter high. This is 10 meter high. The given data is mass is 400 ton. Basically the 400 ton is already filled inside the tank. Find the allege. We have to find this height. This is allege, right? This is sounding, this is allege. So we have to find this height. We know the relative density also. That is 0 0.9. So how are we going to find this one? You need volume. But if you take these figures, you will get all the volume of the cylinder. So for this, we break the volume formula like length into breadth into height. So we need this height and we know total height is 10 meter. When the total height is 10 meter, we, we will find this one, this height. So what's this height? Let me find. We know the length now. L into B into H is for rectangle but this is cylinder so we need pi r square h this is for circular body okay let me remove it So basically we are, what we are going to do is, we will find the height of the liquid and then we will minus it from 10. So let me write the formula, mass is equals to density multiplied by y r square h. We know the mass that is 400, we know the density that is 0 0.9, we know the pi, pi is already given. 3.1416 we know the r that is 4 uh, let's say 4 into 4 now we need to find the height of this liquid okay so if i'll take the calculation this means 0 0.9 multiply by pi multiply by 4 into 4 so 400 is equals to h let me solve this 0.9 into 3.1416 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4. It is coming something 
45.24 height so we will find the height by dividing this value by this so 400 divided by answer that is 8.84 8.42 meters so we have find the height we got the height and this height it is a liquid height so 10 minus 8.8 .8. so 1.2 you can check answer also if you take the exact values then the answer will be 1.158 meters so we have completed second question also let's do the third one guys you need to have this book because the i can't write the questions on board because this is exercise one so questions are not so much big but as we move forward, the questions will be like help to write those on this board. So guys, let's do the third question. A tank of 2400 meter cube volume and 12 meter depth has vertical sides and horizontal bottom. Find how many tons of oil of relative density 0.7 it can hold, allowing 2% of the volume of tank for expansion, state the alleged on loading. Okay. First, let me explain you the question. Consider this is a tank and its volume is 2400 meter cube and we have to leave 2% of tank volume. So, 2% of tank volume, this means this is the tank and the complete volume is this. So, we have to leave 2% of this. So, when you find the 2% of 2400, it is 48. So, when you minus 48 from 2400, you will get 2000. 352 meter cube this means you can fill your cargo till this volume this is that 48 and this is 2352 and total is 2400 meter cube so you have to find we have to find the allege and mass mass plus alleage and we know the height is 12 meters okay so let's do it first of all we are going to find the mass because once we got the mass it is very easy to find the alleage so We know to find the mass, we need density into length into breadth into h. That is just basic really volume. So we have density that is 0.7 and total volume is 2400 meter cube, but 2% is 2,352 meter cube so we will use this volume here so our mass will be 1646.4 ton we have find the mass that is 1646.4 ton so guys 
we have to find the alleage so for alleage we know the height of the tank is 12 meters and if we find the height of liquid we can minus it from the height of tank we will got the alleage so we know the tank is 2% empty but 98% filled so 98% of 12 is something 11.76 meters so if you minus 12 minus 11.76 meters it is 0.24 meter so this is very simple concept basically the tank this is tank this is 100% capacity and 12 meter height now we have to leave 2% as a alleage when you leave 2% as a alleage so 98% of 12 you can find and that is 11.76 meter total is 12 when you minus it you will get 0.24 meter so we have find the mass and alleage for the question number 3 so guys aaj ke liye bas itna hi milte hain fir nayi video mein aage ke sabhi questions ke sath tab tak ke liye jai hind jai bharat vande mataram